and welcome back to Who Would Win. And on this week's Who Would Win, or today's Who Would Win, we have Lucas Rivera, who asked the question, who would win a fight, Doomguy or Hellboy? So obviously Doomguy is the lead protagonist of the Doom series, and Hellboy is Hellboy. Hellboy, who I've had on the series before at least once. Yeah, actually, I think I've only done Hellboy once, now that I think about that. Huh. Uh, you wouldn't think I'd done it more. Uh, yeah, I know, I put him, I pit him against Ghost Rider. But um, Hellboy is... Uh, I, I can't remember. Forgive me if you hear a rooster. The door's open because it's nice out. Uh, forgive me if you hear a rooster crowing. There's we have no idea why the rooster crows when it's not supposed to crow. Uh, it, he lives next door. But Hellboy is the son, tech, uh, by all accounts he's the son of the devil. But uh, Ama On Ramen, I think is his name, is he's son of the fallen one. He is the he is a technically speaking he's royal bloodline, but he is half human and half de demon apparently. Um, which means he does have a soul. Uh, but he is demonic in nature as well. But his uh, his right arm is the key that uh, basically to the apocalypse. It itself is indestructible. Uh, it also delivers a pretty mean punch. Uh, Hellboy himself, I believe they said he's around sixty something years old, but he's like in the, he's in his physical prime. Well, actually, he's older than that. By now, by like today's chronological chronological standards, he'd be roughly in the near eighty range, but he'd still probably be in his peak. So he's he's in peak human condition. He's in peak health. Like he's like he's at his as he they say in the movie he's barely out of his twenties. But that said, he's also a, a being far physically stronger than a normal human. Uh, I think I'm trying to remember exactly how strong he is. I don't think it's ever in the movies. It's never truly said. I'm sure it's said in the comic books. He can trade blows with much bigger creatures than himself. Uh, he can basically punch a car straight in the trunk while it's moving, and then just flip it um i'm trying to recall a moment like in the movies where he where he really displayed a serious amount of strength um i i mean he left it a giant gear over so that thing had to weigh at least 500 maybe even a thousand pounds and he lifted that without too much difficulty what about the second one i'm just going off the top of my head here uh No, oh well, no. He um, I know he didn't lift that for Tolly Goss. He pushed that down. No, there's not. I mean, he was lifting a giant arm. The big, the biggest uh, feat strength strength feats I can think about for him, at least from the movies, is when he lifted the um, Golden Army Golem's arm, which that thing had to probably weigh half a ton at least, and that giant gear, which probably w may have closed in when he crushed um, that oh the the. The, the guy with the blades, I can't remember his name, when he crushed him under those gears, so that gear. So that gear probably had to weigh a good couple hundred pounds, easy, minimum, uh, probably close to a thousand. So it, it, I'd imagine Hellboy can lift somewhere up into a ton area, physically speaking. He's durable enough that he can, t he can take just physical hits and hits, but he still bleeds. He can still injure him without problems. He, can, he can't take blades, he can't take gunfire. Uh, at least, but he can heal relatively quickly from them, even when he's, as long as it's not a lethal blow, he can heal quickly from them. He's pretty okay in uh, terms of, uh, hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's not, like, he's not a martial artist, but he's a, he's a solid, uh, brawler. He's, he's got, you know, training due to the Bureau, uh, the, uh, oh god, B uh, Bureau of some, I can't remember, the, basically the Bureau. I'm so certain he's had probably training under that. Uh... Trying to think what else he's got. Obviously, he has his, his trademark weapons on him. He's got um, I can't remember what it's called. I know his gun actually has a name. The fires, you know, the, the I'm not a very good shot, but the Samaritan needs really big bullets. It's like just a big f off gun with like pretty much almost shotgun shells, but they're like holy, they're holy bullets more or less. I think it's just the 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 gun fires like four rounds. Uh, and then of course he's the guy. He got big baby, which is basically this giant f off rocket or, or grenade launcher in the form of a gun but that's basically what it is uh and fires like two barrels at once uh and it was strong enough to kill a forest god um and he's also got occult knowledge uh he can raise the dead temporarily he can uh he can, has war like spiritual rewards and protection he can perform exorcisms if he has to uh, so Hellboy all, overall is a is a tough and interesting individual. I always like the Hellboy character. I'm looking forward to seeing 
what we may get uh, from Comic Con to see what the new one coming out uh, next year is going to be like. Because that comes out soon. That comes out in January. So I'll be surprised if we don't see something at Comic Con from it. Um, I'll probably uh, I got a little uh, announcement for next week. Now that I bring that up uh, at the end of the video. Doom guy. Now I didn't play Doom. I at least I don't remember playing Doom. Uh, but I remember, I remember the Doom guy. I, I do remember, no Doom guy. Well, uh, uh, all right. I mean, he is, by all count, he is a normal person. But he's like, he's like a physically in his sh a peak. Uh, he's physically in shape guy. He's uh, basically at his peak. He stopped hell from opening up or destroyed hell several times over. I believe he has a couple. I believe he has an upgrade which does make him temporarily indestructible. He has a couple different firearms on him. Shotgun, handgun, I believe he gets a knife at one point. Uh, I know there's a couple, um, the BFGs, the obvious ones, fire is just concentrated plasma. Um, and then there's the hell, the, oh god, I can't remember the one. The one that basically feeds off negative hell energy, so I, I don't think that, that would work on Hellboy, given the circumstance with Hellboy, despite the fact he's half demon. I don't think that would work. Uh, and he, of course, has, uh, he's got grenades of his own. Uh, he's, he can probably hold himself in the fist fight as well. So, uh, basically, that, Doom Guy is, Doom Guy is Doom Guy. But he, he's still entirely human, so you could still easily kill him. So, how does this fight break down? Well, let's say, uh, Hellboy has found himself, uh, with, in the world, in the Doom universe somehow. And just like, what the hell? Because he's had plenty of, uh, plenty of moments where he's been transported to other worlds so the you know doom guys like another demon just you know fires the demons like what the hell man come on stop it and, you know hellboy's block with his fist like oh come on i like this jacket and then you know fires back firing big bolts firing those big ass bolts like wow yeah and he maybe gets nicked and even like takes a good chunk of his shoulder doom guys just like okay fine they like, got one they can actually use a gun well, how do you like this and starts firing shotgun and now hellboy's like shit 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 it's like, oh, actually, no, his, it would be crap, 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 crap. Uh, you know, Hellboy's just getting hot, duck him out. He's like, I got you now, throws a grenade. It's like, oh, crap, but knocks it away with his tail and just boom. And now, you know, Doom Guy's coming in, shotgun ready, and then uh, Hellboy just, you know, knocks it out with his uh, with his own pistol. They Basically, they simultaneously fire and just blow each other's weapons out of their hands. Then they get into a bit of a fisticuff. Hellboy's going to have the advantage there. He's just physically stronger than your normal guy. Um... And while Doom Guy is also stronger than your normal guy, Hellboy's got demon blood in him, so that definitely puts him on an edge. Plus, he's got his demon hand, so he can just block, which is indestructible, so he can just block that and, you know, pff, nearly break it, you know, Doom Guy's hand. Like, ah, and then just boom! And then oh, Doom Guy brings out the BFG. Hellboy's like, ah, oh, crap! And then, you know, boom! You know, he gets caught in it. So now we're thinking, now you get the dust cell, and there's Hellboy standing there, bleeding. Pretty badly, actually. Burnt. Though he I, though he is fireproof, plasma, I think, is kind of a gray area. So it, it, may, it might not burn him, but it will hurt him. Just because, if nothing else, the concussive force alone and the energy uh, feedback or blowback. So he gets out, and his coat's now basically just gone, treads, like, just rags. It's like, and it just tears off. I liked this jacket. Just pulls out Big Baby and just fires it. They fire again. Fires a shot. Big BFG fires a one shot. Boom. They collide. Boom. Giant explosion. He fires another one. BFG fires another one. Boom. And now Hellboy and Doom Guy are just looking at each other. Just, ah, and then Hellboy fires. Doom Guy fires. And there's just a... Or a click. Click, click. Doom Guy's out. Because the BFG doesn't hold very many rounds. In fact, if I remember... BFG holds like a couple, like maybe two or three rounds, uh, if I remember correctly. And then you got to reload it. Uh, so it's like, Poppy, what are you doing? She's just, <laughs> she's doing, she's lying on the, she's just stretched out on the couch. Then she's stretched over the arm of the couch where she's just, and now her butt, is, and her butt and legs are just hanging off the couch. She's just sliding off it like a silly. You're a silly. Um, anyway, so yeah, click and the uh, Doom guy's out. Hellboy still got it around, and that's two and that's two blasts per round. So boom, and then poof, Doom guy. Even if he were, he, he, unless he were indestructible, which is possible, but I think uh, uh, he he'd get his just. Poof. But let's assume for a second that he had that indestructible or some, uh, that temporary invulnerability on at the moment. Just boom, it still blows him back with the concussive nature of it. Hellboy charges in, starts pounding on him, 
And then eventually that wears out, and then he just starts decking him, just beating the living crap out of him. Doom guy can only keep up so much, and Hellboy just kind of beats the ever loving crap out of him. And then you don't, uh, he tries to pull a pistol out, Hellboy grabs it, and just boom, shoots him. So Hellboy wins this simply on the, gr on the, uh, really on the grounds of durability and on his weaponry. Now, he, well, here's what I mean by that. That, yes, Doom Guy has more weapon options. Yes, he's got oh, he's got the BFG. But the plasma nature, the fact that Hellboy is fireproof does negate a bit of a, some, a decent portion of uh, the BFG's effect. Even though that's plasma, similar states of matter. Uh, the, the issue is Hellboy could probably survive, could survive at least a shot from the BFG and be relatively okay to keep going. Doom Guy cannot survive Big Baby. He's still without the invulnerability. In, in Furthermore, the, the, uh, they both have... It would be Doom Guy who throws the first shot probably with the BFG. And if he's only got three rounds, him and Hellboy... Uh, Hellboy will get the final shot off of that. So he would have to activate the invulnerability pretty quick. And if he doesn't, he's dead. But then basically then after that, because Hellboy's uh, had enough experience dealing with individuals with firearms, with the supernatural, things along those lines, that he'd be able to avoid the, the constant uh, barrage of gunshots long enough so that he Doom Guy would basically run out of ammo. And then at that point, it comes down to a fisticuffs fight. And Hellboy's going to win that fight. Hellboy's going to win that fight with fisticuffs because he's got he's just physically bigger than Doom Guy. He's physically stronger than Doom Guy. And he has a tail which can act as a X factor where he can just grab him at some point and just like grab his legs and just throw him to the ground or grab an arm that's about to like maybe try to go for a gun and then you know break his arm. So Hellboy wins this fight. So yeah, Hellboy wins this fight. He wins this fight. Mm. That's a good question. I guess the question is, do I think Doom Guy wins the fight? I uh, can win the fight at all. Um only if he were to be, only if he were able to get a uh, a shot, a headshot on you know, Hellboy, and that relatively close range, because otherwise Hellboy's probably going to be able to avoid or block with his arm. So he's got to be able to catch Hellboy off guard, and that's not going to be easy. It's not impossible, but I'm going to go and out a ten in favor of Hellboy. I think there's a ten percent chance that Doom God could base could catch Hellboy off guard in that sense, but it's not a very high uh, uh, prediction. Uh, it's not a very high uh, percentage. But what do you think? Do you think Hellboy wins the entire time? Think Doom Guy wins the entire time? Think it's closer or farther apart than I made it? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. I'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for would win. Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, What If. Anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do it at some point. Uh, next, uh, there will be What If and um, Box Office on Sunday. We can put What Ifs this week, plus the Who Would Wins I normally do. Comic Con is this week is coming this week next week It's coming next week. Now I've been I've been wrestling with the idea of uh, should I do some videos on Comic Con as uh, we like get the trailers and stuff because I don't do trailer reviews anymore. I I don't have I can't uh, link my computer. I don't have anything to link with. I mean I sh I've been tempted to try with my phone see if I can link my phone with it. Um and maybe I'll try that in, in a little while see if that works. Because if it is then maybe I can actually do some legitimate reactions again. If, that, if I do that, then I will do reaction, like legitimate reaction reviews again. But otherwise, I'll probably just watch, I'll do some reviews and get my uh, thoughts on the information and trailers we got. So I'll do a, I'll do a Comic Con round, I'm sure. Um, but anyway, and I mean, we got our first picture of Godzilla King of the Monsters, which tells me we're probably gonna get a teaser trailer of Godzilla King of the Monsters. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Uh, I know we're gonna get Aquaman. We probably will see something from Wonder Woman and Shazam. Um, Predator, so we're supposedly going to get a panel for that. I'm trying to think. Pro you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we got a Captain Marvel teaser drop. Uh, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't be, sh well, maybe not. I don't know how long that's been filming for. Um, hell, again, like I said, Hellboy trailer, that's not impossible just because it's coming up in January. So we're now in that sweet spot for dropping trailers. We'll see what we got at Comic-Con. I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you 